It's Jessica with Brett Eldridge. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. It is so hot today. I know. It's <laughs> so unbelievable. I appreciate that we're on the bus. And hey, Edgar's here too. He's hogging the couch. I'm Hi, sorry. Edgar. Edgar, how you doing, buddy? Hello. I'm so pumped. This is my doing? first time meeting Edgar. Edgar, uh, what do you, <laughs> what do you so say? So puppy school is working out good for him? Or yeah, he graduated? Oh yeah. That's awesome. He's graduated. He is, uh, he's living the good life now. Hey, so... I've already seen the tour, mm -hmm. but I mean, I was there in February and I'll probably go that back. That was the start of it all. You saw the, <laughs> you saw the beginning. Awesome. Got, we've gotten much better even since then. And you performed like, was it three or four new songs? I did. And you're still going to do that tonight? Oh, yeah. Yay, we're in for a treat. And then I'll probably go back when you guys are here in, in New Hampshire in August, too, because... We're, oh, that's yeah. one of my favorite I'm representing well. all the Brett Eldridge fangirls you right got now. You got to. I, I love it. Um, so tonight's going to be a big night. This is our second country concert of the season at the Xfinity Center. And what a lineup. I mean, Lauren Elena, you, and Luke. And I mean, yes. what have you learned so far from touring with Luke the last couple months? Um, I mean, I've learned just he is uh, he's very um, he's very willing to just let everybody have the full opportunity to, to hit yeah. that stage it's like he lets you have the run of running out in the, on the the big ramps and yeah. having all the toys and have all the lights and all this stuff and, and a lot of artists do that it's really yeah. he he knows what it was like to you know be in these all these different so. touring positions and so but also he's just a very down-to-earth I mean, the most normal guy you could ever meet and just down to earth guy. Well, we're pumped. This is a sold out show, by the way. You guys obviously know. Yes. That, right? Sold out. Everyone's been out in the parking lot. It's like 95 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm sweating right now. Oh, yeah, 95 degrees. Everyone's been tailgating since 3.30. So they're we're ready good. to party. And well, I feel I like too. just about a year ago, we were here talking about how the Cubs should win the World Series. <laughs> so, I mean... What else can we predict? I mean, we predicted uh, pretty much that the Cubs yeah, that, were going to win the World Series last did. year. I remember that. In, I remember <laughs> talking about that. Um, so maybe we can predict that your new your new album will go number one. Yeah, let's predict that, <laughs> that goes number one, and uh, yeah, it changes changes uh, people's people's lives. Yeah, my um, new album is going to change. So August fourth, that was predicted. August fourth, your, your self titled album is coming mm -hmm. out, and what now what is this album like to you what is it like uh you? this album is very um well since it's my third album it's weird because my first album was called bring you back it yep. was a title of the, actually the only song i've never written on any of my albums was the title of the first album okay um and then the uh, second one was illinois which is where i'm from mm -hmm. so it was a little bit more of an inside of of the person and and what i carry you know everywhere i go which is my hometown and my you know my roots and then so it kind of was a natural progression to make the third album even more you know embodied work of my of like of the album exactly that i want to make like not that the other ones weren't but this is very now I, people know my voice yeah and they know you know a bunch of my songs now it's like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna show you some stuff that you hadn't mm -hmm. seen or knew that i was mm -hmm. gonna do yet and i really uh i just think i I whipped the other one's butts, I hope. Yay, so. well, we're pumped. <laughs> so we, we've played um, Love Someone and The Lawn Way this week. So we oh, good. So we played that on The Bull in Boston. We actually got tons of requests for it. So, well, I mean, people good. are vibing. They're waiting. They're they're going to be obsessed with They're going to hear those drops. tonight, too. So, so uh, just a few quick questions. Okay. If uh, We got these uh, tweeted in earlier. So okay. if you could tour with three people from any genre that, dead or alive, who would they be? i say John Mayer. I love Ooh. John Mayer. Yeah. Um, Sinatra, of course. That's I knew always it. You go to. I knew it would be Sinatra. Yeah. Sinatra <laughs> and uh, ooh, Britney Spears. <laughs> I mean, I'd say Taylor Swift, but I already toured with her. Yeah, his first tour. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe Ray LaMontagne. Okay, very cool. Yeah, and get a little bit of every every different every different style. So you know, we love our iHeartRadio. So mm -hmm. on your iHeartRadio favorites right now, what mm -hmm. is one song that you have on your favorites? You know what I really love, and this is, this is, uh, I, I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, yep. but it's like, for me, um, it's, it's the new John Mayer record, and it's okay. the, uh, it's in, bl in the blood. Bobby Bones loves it. Bobby's oh, yeah. been playing that. Bobby has been Bobby's playing that a lot. Bobby's trying to get that, like, on the country charts. Well, it's a great, it's just a great lyric, yeah. and, yeah. uh, and so I just love That's that song. Cool. I just, Yay. it's, it's. It's, I totally relate to the lyric of that song. Well, awesome. Well, Brett, we're super excited for everything that you got going on. Hey, well, thank you. Thanks I for think, hanging out. You know, next summer, Edgar. You'll be, <laughs> next summer, hopefully, you're headlining your own yes, show. Yes, hey. 
back here, but we'll you never know. So we'll see you in August, and then hopefully back in October when the World Series is going on. Yes, at Fenway Park with the Cubs and the Red that Sox. That would be. Well, let's um, hope so. I, I, I mean, the Cubs would. are what second right now in their division. Yeah. And I'm still so bitter that we don't have Rizzo as a Red Sox player because he originally was. Sorry. He originally was on the Red Sox. I would love to see Cubs so Red Sox. So Take me the long way around your town Were you the queen with the silver crown? I want the secrets you keep The shine underneath of the diamond I think I just found Take me the long Show me the fields you dance in home, the harvest in October, and when the leaves fall from the sky, just like a Sunday drive, take me the long. 